Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the energies between you and the person you're thinking about or connecting with right now. And what are you thinking about each other? What are your feelings towards each other? So let's see what messages come out for you for Pisces. Spirit, interest, guys. What's going on for Pisces and love spirit at this time? What does Pisces need to know about this individual? And what are the energies between them? Let's start with what you're thinking or feeling about each other. What are the mutual energies, Spirit, between Pisces and this individual they're thinking about or connecting with at this time? What is the mutual energy here? Wow, the Fool with the Six of Pentacles. Wow, I'm getting a lot of um, energy from these two cards. I don't know what's going on. It's like there's a lot going on, Pisces. The Fool is about new beginnings, new risks, um, a leap of faith. You're, you're willing to jump into something that you don't know. You don't even know if it's going to work out or what's going to happen. Right away, I think of a dating situation. You might be dating multiple people, meeting multiple people. And there's almost like a, I don't know, it's like a nervous excitement over where this could lead could this be the one is this the beginning that i'm looking for i'm getting a lot of energy from these two cards and I, i'm going to try to see if i can get more insight but i feel like it's just because right now there's a lot going on in terms of love um i don't think this is a pisces where love has been very sleepy lately i think this is someone where um you know i'm seeing like uh or feeling like uh nervous butterflies um, conversations that make you blush, little things like that. And it could also be that, you know, there's nervousness or anxiety over the future as well. As you get to know someone, um, maybe it starts to feel a little too real for you, Pisces, um, or to this person. Ten of Pentacles, wow. Okay, so a lot of potential here for stability long-term security, marriage, commitment. This is interesting. I have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck and then the Page of Swords. I feel like this is coming at a time where maybe things haven't been so great um, and then this happens because there's a new cycle here, a new beginning that's happening here. And I feel like it starts when, when you start talking to someone. Okay, I'm getting that some of you could be dealing with a situation where Maybe you recently got out of a relationship or you're healing from a past connection. Um, and as you heal, as you process what's happened, you start talking to someone else or you start becoming interested in someone else or someone becomes interested in you and kind of distracts you. Like, I feel like this is a, a good distraction to have, but I think some of you might feel like you're not ready for this. Like maybe this is happening too quickly or you have, you know, trepidations or like things that make you kind of, I don't know, want to slow things down, despite the fact that there's a lot of potential here for something serious. Let's see, what's the connection here or the energy in this connection, actually? Spirit, what's the energy, the overall energy in this connection for Pisces and this other individual? What's the overall energy here? Walking away, departure, journey, movement, and difficult decision. Yeah, I feel like some of you walked away from another connection. And this is like new energy coming in. Some of you, I feel like you were probably, it was probably difficult to leave something behind. But I think you need to. There's burning passion at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you, you like hit it off with someone. Or someone catches your eye. Again, I'm getting that word, distraction. They're like distracting you from whatever it is that you're dealing with or were dealing with recently. Maybe some of you, your person left you or maybe you had to make the difficult decision to leave a connection. But I feel like it's going to work out. Balancing act. You're juggling multiple things at once. Yeah, there's, there's a lot going on. Maybe this is all happening while you're transitioning into something new, a new job, a new place of like where you're moving to or something like that. I feel like you're getting, I don't know. It's like there's a lot happening for you, but I don't know. I feel, I feel like this is all good energy, but it doesn't seem like it's good energy to you. 
as I'm getting that kind of energy. Like there's a lot of like, and I'm not so sure, um, like a healthy fear. So let's look at both of your energies. I'm going to um, focus on your energy first, Pisces, and then I'm going to do your person's energy. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me about Pisces. What do we need to know about Pisces? What is Pisces thinking, feeling when it comes to this person, this connection? Judgment. Okay. Looking back at the past, learning lessons, ready for a new cycle after judgment is the world. Judgment is all about looking back at everything you've learned in your last cycle. Judgment is also about second chances, revivals. Tell me more for Pisces. What is Pisces thinking, feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? Wow, the Empress. I feel like I'm speaking to a Pisces. Obviously, this won't resonate with everyone, but I'm speaking to a Pisces where you're focusing on yourself. After everything you've learned, you've left the BS behind. There's the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You've left something behind to plant seeds elsewhere, Pis uh, Pisces. And it's it's like, it's going to be good for you. You're going to do well there. You're ready for a new cycle. Some of you may have had like a little glow up. But I'm getting a lot of like, I'm focusing on me. And I think as you do that, you attract someone else. Nine of Swords. Some of you, I feel like, yeah, it has not been easy. You're worried. You're anxious. There's that nervous energy. It's like you know this is what's best for you, but you're scared at what's waiting for you. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments. That's the energy I'm picking up here. Maybe you're worried that leaving that past connection means, oh, I won't find someone else to love me or care about me. Or, you know, maybe this was a mistake. Maybe I'm screwing things up. And I don't think you are. I think that's whatever you left behind was meant to be left. Tell me more about Pisces. Tell me more about Pisces. Some of you need to really focus on your mental health. Because it's not just about material stability, Pisces. It's also about... In your, your inner stability as well. Your inner healing. Can I get some insight, please, on Pisces? What's their energy here? Love song, declaration, heartfelt confession. Yeah, someone's interested in you, Pisces. That's very clear. I don't know who it is, but I feel like they're going to let you know. <laughs> that they're interested in you. Again, that word distraction is like in the back of my mind. It's a good distraction. It makes you think about something new. Tell me more about Pisces. What do we need to know about Pisces spirit? What do we need to know about Pisces? We will be together again. Hmm. And then awakening at the bottom of the deck. I'm getting two very distinct messages there. What's behind this? I pretend that I'm okay, but inside I am hurting. Someone could be wearing a mask here and realizing that maybe that's not it. Pisces, I'm getting a few messages here. Some of you are dealing with someone, an ex that maybe you just left behind or a relationship that just ended and they want to come back. That's one energy I'm getting. But the other message that I'm getting more strongly is that you'll have to choose between two, between the past and the future. Because there's someone new here. There's someone new here and I feel like you need to choose if you want to give that a shot or if you want to go back to what you already know. Let's see who ends up showing up here. Tell me about this individual that Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know, spirit, about this person that Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with? What is their energy? The devil, Capricorn energy. 
The hangman. Someone's stuck. I get one more for this person's energy. What else do we need to know about this individual? What else do we need to know about this individual? Page of Wands. The moon. There you are, Pisces, at the bottom of the deck. You know, I feel like this person, they could be either, I'm not getting that this has to be the ex or that this has to be the new person. So I'm just going to share with you what I see here and then you can kind of take it as it resonates for your situation. This is someone that's been on pause, unsure of what action to take and then all of a sudden they take it, page of wands. Um, from the hangman to page of wands, that's a, like a 180 right there. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a fire sign, or another Pisces. Does not have to be. But I feel like this person wasn't sure about you for whatever reason. Uh, maybe they didn't think that they could reach out to you and tell you how they felt. Or maybe they just weren't sure if you would be interested in them. Tell me about the devil and the hangman. But I see them kind of shooting their shot here with the page of wands. Why is the devil here, spirit? Why is the devil here with the hangman? Yeah, four of cups. This is somebody that, okay, the five of wands is at the bottom of the deck with the two of pentacles. They're just not sure. It's like they're worried that you will reject them and not only just reject them, but have a fight. Like you will fight, have more conflict. I feel like they, they, they waited because they weren't sure of your interest. And so you see like that could be someone completely new or that could be someone you already know. Tell me about the page of wands. What do we need to know about this page of wands? Yeah, the five of wands. This person is going to shoot their shot. They see an opportunity. They see a door open and they decide to speak to you. I feel like they're going to be the ones that take that plunge that admit something to you or just open up to you in a very direct way. Okay, hold on. My deck is like... For some reason, I feel like whatever they're telling you, it makes you a little nervous. You're not sure how to take what they're telling you. you know you don't know what to make of it can I get some insight into this person's energy towards Pisces what are their energies towards Pisces magic carpet Speed, action, movement. They want to move quickly. I feel like if when they do reach out, it's by impulse. I don't think they think about it too much, especially the Page of Wands. They don't really think about things before doing them that much. Romance, chemistry, mutual feelings. Storybook romance came out here. I think they have a lot of feelings for you, and they're hoping they're mutual. They're hoping you're able to reciprocate those feelings, that you feel the same way. But they held back because of that fear. It's like they held back confessing that they had feelings for you because they didn't want to be rejected. Tale as old as time, really. Can I get some insight into what, what is in their heart space? What are they feeling when it comes to Pisces? What are their thoughts, feelings towards Pisces? This one. Everything reminds me of you. So they're looking up your pictures, your social media, being reminded of you, thinking of you. And then there's awakening at the bottom of the deck. So they have the hangman and you have judgment. And both of those cards, there's enlightenment on the other side of them. The hangman, they are hanging from a different angle. They're hanging upside down and they're able to get enlightenment because of that. With judgment, you're looking back at the past and you're getting enlightenment because of that. I feel like you're both having your own enlightenment and awakening moments. Um, and I feel like you, you you will have to make a decision here, Pisces. Um, 
it will be a risk. No matter if this is someone new or if this is someone from the past, it will be a risk. And it's not a risk where you know exactly how things are going to turn out. You're going to be completely blind to the future and what can happen. Um, but love is about vulnerability. So I feel like there's a lot of, pot I don't think that whoever this is, is messing around because the 10 of pentacles is here. Which again makes me think maybe you have an offer coming in that's much more stable than what you're used to. So I don't know if this is an ex coming back and you're going to have to choose, you know, take a risk with someone completely new or go back to what I know. Or if maybe this is someone that you meet that makes you forget all about the past and the past is kind of like, hello, what about me? You know, those are the scenarios that I kind of picture here. But that's what the energy stands as of today. I feel like this is someone that's going to take an opportunity. You will know who they are, Pisces, because this page of wands is telling me, and this magic carpet is telling me, they're willing to do something about what they're thinking or feeling. They held back for some time, but they're not going to hold back any longer. And so they're going to present themselves, you know, come out of the shadows. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And hopefully I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.